everyone, welcome to Maverick's World, and I'm your host, Maverick Wade. All right, so let's jump right into it. So right off the bat, we're gonna be looking at this cactus symbol here. That's to tell us that this dinosaur can be tracked in the desert. This desert, nice desert region, this nice artwork right here. Then we have the Jurassic World logo, Dino Trackers, Strike Attack, Herrerasaurus. Then we have this awesome artwork here of Beta and Blue. And then if we turn the box around to the back, we can see that there's an example of the action feature. It looks like we're going to be pressing it down. We'll look at that in a minute. As well as the wave mates. We have looked at the Zuni Ceratops and the Edifosaurus previously. We still have yet to look at the Genedictus, and we will definitely get there. So stay tuned for that review as well. All right. Um, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. All right, so here we have the brand new Mattel Jurassic World Dino Trackers Strike Attack Herrera Source. And this thing is awesome. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the paint apps on it. So we have, it looks like about one, two, three, four different types of paint going on on this paint scheme. So we have this awesome, looks like a, like a clay red going on, the deep clay red going on the legs. We have this lighter clay red going on the arms. Then we have this almost like a, like a chocolate brown on this tail right here, like a light chocolate, like a milk chocolate brown. Then for the head, it, we have this gray running all the way underneath the jaw region, all the way to the top. And of course, for the eyes, they are painted in yellow. So you can get a good look at those eyes, okay? Now, the jaw does open up on its own, and it is not attached to the action feature at all, which we're gonna look at right now. Let's look and see what goes on here. Okay, nice. Now, this action feature is pretty smooth. It's not as smooth as the Zuni Ceratops was. You can see it. I don't know if it's getting stuck because it's on, but there we go. Now, as far as articulation goes, we can move the legs all the way around. I'm not going to spin it because I don't want to scratch it up. We do have that awesome fly joint in the arm, so it allows them to butterfly outwards. Okay. Tail is on a swivel. All right. And then if you want to look at that scan code. Cool. All right. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons. Okay. So here we have our brand new Dino Trackers Track Attack Herrera Source, along with our Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage counterpart, and as well as our Dino Escape Wild Pack counterpart. So, right off the bat, you will notice that this Herrera Source, this Dino Trackers Edition, is the very first Herrera Source to actually come with an action feature. Now, the Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage variant does also come with sort of an action feature as well, and that has down damage. But the down damage doesn't actually move anything else except for, well, the down damage. So. There's that one. Now, this one right here, this is the Wild Pack Edition um, from the Dino Escape line. Now, it does have some very nice articulation to it. You'll notice the mouth opens up very nicely um, as well. But no, it does not have any type of action feature on the back that you can press. So, this one right here makes a excellent addition to the Herrera Source lineup. And I kind of like to think of it more as like an alpha in the Herrera Source lineup because you notice it's a little bit bigger than these other ones. Here's our all new Dino Trackers Herrera Source with his other wave mates that we've previously reviewed. With Hammond Collection, Dr. Ian Malcolm. With the Dino Trackers Diablo Ceratops. With the Dino Trackers Il Carcheria with the Dino Trackers Sino Tyrannus, and finally with the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Battle Damage Extreme Trump and Spinosaurus. So some final thoughts. I am actually very happy with this version 
of the Herrera source. I'm glad that we now have some versions we can pose out like these versions and then we also have now have this version with an action feature which I think is very awesome and makes a great addition to any collection. If you would like to add your very own Dino Trackers Strike Attack Herrera Source to your collection, I can highly recommend BigBadToyStore.com as well as Amazon.com. I will leave both those links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and you get to stay up to date with all the latest Jurassic World Dino content that will be regularly hitting Mavericks World. Thank you for tuning into Mavericks World. This has been your host, Maverick Wade. Until next time.